what should you work on with your product next? Should it be rather the user experience? Should it be design? Should it be function? Should it be something else? Hey, and welcome everyone. It's day 50 of our 90 day game plan. And today it's product day. We're going to look into our app. We're going to reflect what can we improve? What can we, what should we not improve? And what could you do as a CEO in your own company? Now, absolutely crucial. I think Steve Jobs always kind of said it best that in product design, it's not only important what you are working on, it's those things that you're deliberately not working on. And obviously there are always things that are easy not to work on because they're just useless to kind of work on, but it's those things that kind of scream at you that is so difficult to say no to. And so now when you're working on your product, remember you started with the skateboard, you went to the scooter, maybe right now we're working on the bicycle. So it's kind of the next level. And you kind of have to think a bit about what are you really putting your focus on? And I want to be very clear, this depends a lot on what kind of company and what kind of brand you are building. Are you more of a functional brand? Is it really all about the design? Is it all about the user experience? Is it all about cost? What are the various kind of things that you really want to focus on. And so here is the key thing. Take a moment and reflect on that. And then reflect on what does this mean that you're not working on next. And this is really important. So for example, if you're a design company, you really probably have to put up your design functionality there, which may mean that you're going to deliberately say no to improving on cost or you deliberately saying no on adding new functionality. So it's really, really, really important. So I'm going to give you our own example. So for us at the moment, I believe it's all about functionality for us. It's less about design. Cost is important, but it's not as important because especially in crypto, because the potential upside is so big. You can, of course, you kind of shave off 0.1% here, 0.1% there. But at the end, the potential upside is so much higher. So if you kind of hit a certain level, I think cost is not the main issue anymore. It is an issue if you're obviously way too expensive, but at some point it's not the key issue. Uh, the same on design, right? Obviously you don't want to look totally terrible, but many times crypto people, it's less of an issue there. So now it really comes down to two main things. One is easy user experience, making the user experience simpler, 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 or adding more functionality, which many times can be at odds. And so this is a really, really important question here, right? So obviously at Cake, we really want to onboard people in a very simple manner. We want to be this one-stop platform, allow people to get into crypto, kind of trade within crypto, but then get cash flow on that crypto. And so the question really is, what are we going to work on next? And so this deliberate decision right now is not to improve the user experience further, but right now to add more functionalities, meaning we want to add more uh, easier way to unramp with bank transfers, for example, really improve on the taxation situation. Now, this is functionality, right? Adding more cash flow possibilities, more earn possibilities for various coins. And with that, we have to say no right now to improving the user experience. Now, that doesn't mean I want to make it worse. It just means we're going to focus on these other things. And so you're going to be seeing this in the app a lot, actually. The same also, obviously, with the customized bundles and so on. And so I really want you to sit down and kind of make a conscious decision on what of those factors, right? It's user experience, it's design, it's additional functionality, or it's cost. Because these at the end are really always the kind of criteria that people choose things on, right? They either want to, they want things to look really nice. They want things to, I don't know, be very easy to use. They want to have a lot of functionalities or it's just being the cheapest. And um, maybe it's something else for you. It depends a bit on the, obviously the, the, the sector it could also obviously be the, the, like if you're in a health function, maybe health becomes a separate one could also be that that's more functionality, but very, very um, individual. So reflect on that and then be very clear on what are you deliberately saying no right now? That doesn't mean you're gonna say no forever, it just means right now. So that's really, really key. If you have questions on that, let me know down below. That's it for day 50. We're gonna have marketing day. We are gonna have obviously individual productivity day. We have a weekend where we talk about personal stuff. So you don't wanna miss any of that, believe me. So subscribe, see you tomorrow. Yours truly, Julian, bye-bye.